it's called progressive transitions, part of the New York Latin American art triennial here at Lehman College's art gallery, featuring the works of artists from Argentina, Cuba, the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. Adrian Roman talked about his installation called the Calle de Memoria Viva, or Living Memory Box. It's a series of different portraits of kind of our everyday uh, people. The one that's here today is of a Hurricane Maria survivor that I met during my travels post Maria. I went to visit her a few times, bringing her aid, helping her there, um, established a really good relationship with her. And uh, but being that she lost everything um, in her home, there wasn't anything to put inside the box, like how I do with the previous boxes. So the, the objects that are inside the box, in, in this box, are um, items that I collected in the trash and in uh, areas that were things that were being disposed of from homes that got destroyed after Hurricane Maria. Chief curator of the collection is Louis Steffenberg, the director of the New York Triennial, who explains progressive transitions as movement interpreted in many different ways. For Roman, it's the aftermath of a hurricane. For artist William Carmona, who was born in Cuba, it's different. He used the subject of immigration and, and the reality of a group moving from one place to another that is a very actual reality uh, in this country at this very moment and also in Europe where people for different reasons have to move from their own land to other places. With bold imagery that includes the Statue of Liberty, Carmona's wet race is about reflecting on an issue that has captured headlines in recent years. This is the, the problem more and more and more incredible that we have it now the immigrants. Who is the I immigrant? When do you consider that you are immigrants? My idea was, because the, the subject was progressive transition, uh, make a piece about um, aspiring to new heights, uh, uh, making a piece that will actually inspire people to go up, to be progress. And it's about human movement and human changes. And my work also is a lot about history. And the reason that I use the Dominican chair that is handmade, it's because there is a lot of tradition and history in the making and in the object. And there are more. Then you have Antonio Martorell uh, that is talking about the, how many people die in the hurricane in Puerto Rico. Uh, Maria, that was a very, it was a tragedy that Puerto Rican experience. We've got 21 artists in this exhibition from nine different countries. Um, and so it was a real labor of love. It's a very ambitious project to bring in international artists when you're a, a smaller venue. Um, and uh, so the challenge of bringing that off is a great one, but we're very excited that it came together so well. Other locations as well are hosting the New York Latin American Triennial. This is a project that's on at 10 different venues all around New York City, including four of City University of New York's campuses. Um, it's also on at the Longwood Gallery down at Hostos Community College. And I think we're the third of the venues to open. And uh, so this is the first time the Lehman College Art Gallery has participated in this. The show here at Lehman College Art Gallery, located at 250 Bedford Park West, is free and open to the public through January 25th. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.